Hi everybody, Joe Broncato, the Airgun Scientist. Today, a non-airgun uh, topic. And it's going to be a few things, one of which is how to adjust the extractor for a 1911. And uh, also, uh, for another uh, reader that had posed the question, how do you pull the uh, firing pin stop out of a 1911? And we're going to show this to you, specifically for the guys on 1911 group and the, Glock, or, or, and the uh, power ordinance group and all you other guys that carry 1911 style guns. So here we are. Zach is my cameraman. We're going to look at it. So this is the extractor. Let's show you where this goes. Typically, this is in here, and I've already taken the gun apart. We'll show you how it goes. It comes apart, goes together the same way. This is the extractor. Basically, what it's doing is it's grabbing the, the, the cartridge here and when the pulls it out of the, of the barrel when it's time. So let's take a peek. Let me know where you need to go. We're going to put this in here. Okay. Oh, how do you adjust it? So in this particular case, my extractor was way too light. This was pretty much straight, and that wasn't... Uh, always extracting the cartridge case out of the barrel. So every now and then I'd have a cartridge case that was stuck and I'd have to plunge it, you know, push it out of the barrel. So that wasn't really a good thing. So I'd have to push it out. I'm cleaning the barrel. I'm cleaning the gun, so I figured I would fix my extractor. So this is how the extractor works, okay? Now, if it's not extracting, you make it tighter. How do you make it tighter? Well, you bend it in here, and you can do that a couple of ways. You the easiest way is just stick it in here and bend it a little bit. Just a little tiny bit goes a long way. I went too much. So what happened was it was definitely extracting. But I noticed when um, the slide stop was engaged and a, a full mag was in the gun, if I just dropped it from the slide stop instead of pulling it out and, and letting it slam home, um, as typical as when you have this over-adjusted, bent too far, uh, it'll hang up. It, it won't get over this. It'll just kind of get hung up on there. So I had to straighten it out a little bit. That's what I did. I stuck it in a vise and just kind of straightened it out a little bit. Now we're going to show you how it goes back together. So the first thing, this is a Series 80 style, okay? If this is a Series 70, it's real easy. But you just kind of line this up here. All right, and we are doing that now. And it shouldn't be that tight. And it is a little bit. There you go. Now while you're doing it, make sure you got the flat of this, even with the flat of that parallel. Okay, good. And then I just get something, oh, see how it turned? So you don't want that to turn. You may have to straighten that out a little bit with a proper tool or you could just pull it out. I use a screwdriver, not the best thing I'm sure. I'm sure somebody's gonna say, oh, you're using the wrong tool. And they're right. I'm gonna straighten that out a little bit again. Now, if this was a, uh, here, let's just straighten that out a little bit. Oh, okay, so you can turn that a little bit. All right, you see what I'm doing there? So we got that nice and parallel. Okay, now you wanna make sure everything's lined up in here. Okay, so you wanna make sure that that's a nice straight shot. You can kind of see that, I hope. And to check that out, this is called the firing pin stop. Okay, and this is the typical rounded off firing pin stop. And again, I'm cleaning this gun off. That's how we got this whole thing apart or why we took it all apart. This has got the rounded like most 1911s are. Uh, if you're gonna do your 90, uh, 45 Super, you're gonna get a flat on this. We'll, we'll discuss that in another video if you guys are uh, interested in how to build the 45 Supers. So I'm just gonna check that, make sure it fits first. I'm not putting it in at this instant. Okay, so it goes in there real nice and easy. Okay. Now the next thing you're gonna put in, in a Series 70, you would just stick the firing pin spring and then the firing pin, uh, just like this. But you can't do that on a 1911 that has a Series 80. In the Series 80, this is basically a firing pin stop. Uh, a lot of people don't like it. I think it's an excellent invention for safety. Uh, if you're carrying in condition one, it makes me feel significantly more comfortable. Okay, and what does the night Series 80 do? Okay, well, first of all, we lined that up, but I forgot. You got to pull it out just a tad so you can get your Series 80 pin. That Series 80's pin, there you go, just that little tiny bit is all I had to open it so you can get your Series 80's pin in there. That Series 80's pin stops the firing pin from going anywhere. Uh, it's basically, unless you've got your finger, and here it is here, 
unless you got your finger on the bang stick. And when you do, see how that lever comes up? Yeah, I'll let you see that. See how that lever comes up when you pull the trigger? That lever comes up, pushes that button in, and allows the, fire, uh, the firing pin, it allows it the ability to go forward. It doesn't make it go forward. Okay, so now this is where you kind of got to do a little game here of which one, chicken or the egg, do you have to get in first? Okay, that's in. That'll go in, all right, because I'm pushing it in with my thumb. All right, now get this ready like this. Okay, and here's where we play the game of, okay, how many things can I push all at once? All right, I got that in there. I got that in here. And then... Uh, probably, oh, see, I didn't hold that on there. If this takes longer than a second, I'm going to have Zach pause it. Okay, so you have the firing pin stop. That's this gizmo. The firing pin's pushed in most of the way. It's below flush or at flush. I had to push the, far, uh, the firing pin, this uh, Series 80's safety. Now, everything's lined up. Now, this should just go in there like that. Now, watch the firing pin come in. Okay, when you saw that firing pin come out, now that means the firing pin stop can't come out. Everything's all set up. Looks like it should go. I'm gonna measure uh, my extractor, how well it's doing, how tight it is. And she seems to be pretty good. Uh, see if I loosened it sufficiently. It's still pretty tight, which means it for sure will extract, will it um, feed? I had an issue, I did about 100 rounds yesterday and uh, one of them failed to feed. Uh, because it got hung up on that extractor. So I was like, well, not, not good for your everyday carry piece. So we're going to check it. It doesn't wobble. It doesn't come out, but it might be a little too tight still. So we'll put 100 rounds through it tomorrow or next couple of days. And uh, we'll let you know how it turns out. So back on me. So that's it. Look, I'm not a professional armorer on a 1911. So please don't be hypercritical. Uh, the gist of it is I was just trying to show a guy how to do this. That it asked on the forums, how do you get the firing pin stop in? It took him 45 minutes to do it. And that's the proper way to do it. Um, you can see it's a little bit of finesse. You got to get the uh, parts placed in there in the right order. Uh, so remember to put your extractor in first. Then get your Series 80s pin in there. And um, after you do that, then you got to get your... Uh, firing pin spring and the firing pin in push it in all the way uh, get your firing pin stop almost all the way monkey with the extractor a little bit get it all slammed in you're done that's Joe Roncato the air gun scientist hey thanks a lot for following our channel if you're an air gunner or not please uh, follow our channel give it a like or something like that check the little box that says uh, notify of the latest uploads take care god bless and for all of you guys and gals out there safe shooting